Hello and welcome for your daily astrology and tarot horoscope brought to you by Nicholas from Monday, October 20, 2014. And Monday, the planet of the day is the moon. So let's look at how we can connect with our moon today. Um, the moon on Monday, the October 20, 2014, it's in Virgo. And the moon goes void of course at 8.43, at, at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So we basically have a full day of Monday basically being an earthy, mutable sign. Mutable signs are more listening, they're more caring, they're more gentle. Um, they kind of go with the flow a bit more than like the cardinal where it's just go, go, go. Or the fixed where it's very stubborn and fixed in its ways. So um, it's a very gentle earthy sign. It's the Virgo, you know, um, you know that's the healer. The sign of the healer and you know it's the side of the version so it's very innocent in a way that's how i look like to look at it so um, but it's practical because it's earth so you know very come come with a very practical mind to your emotions um and just resonate and just to kind of go with the flow way but in a practical way that gets results and that's a good way to align with your moon today here on monday the daily so the weekly signifying card of the week is judgment and I read what the judgment card represented from this handout. And if you look at this card, I mean, it's a positive card. These people are exalted and happy to finally be judged. I myself don't like the idea of being judged. I myself don't like the idea of, of having something else external outside me give me judgment or validation for myself. But in this card, these people are loving it and enjoying it. And it reminds me of last week, the Wheel of Fortune. And, but the Wheel of Fortune to me sort of means an unexpected goodness that comes from like a karmic action that you did correctly. And so it's very similar, like, oh, you've done something good, so now you'll be judged in a good way. So this is just a little bit more refined to me. This is very specific that you're, you've done something to, in its totality and the judgment you received will be a blessing. But it's, it's looking for validation, and it's a validation that's going to be positive as long as we stay on the path of what we're supposed to be doing. So with the Wheel of Fortune, I kind of think like you don't know what good blessing will come upon you. On here, the good blessing we're waiting for is this judgment, and we will be judged rightly and accordingly to what we do. So just think of that for the week. And I like to, I want to keep going deep, a little bit deeper into the judgment in the Zen Osho Tarot deck. The judgment is beyond illusion. And I love that idea. It's so very Zen because there is no judgment in Zen. There is no thought process. It's sort of like you try to get out of that discerning, judgmental mind and just with a flow of nature and actual reality. And so I'll just give you a reading on what this week represents for the Zen Osho deck. The butterfly in this card, well, I'll hold up the picture while I read it. The butterfly in this card represents the outer, that which is constantly moving and that which is not real but an illusion. Behind the butterfly is the face of consciousness, looking inward to that which is eternal. The space between the two eyes is opened, revealing the lotus of spiritual unfoldment and the rising of sun of awareness. Through the rising of the inner sun, meditation is born. The card reminds us not to look outside for what is real, but look within. When we focus on the externals, we often get caught up in judgments. This is good. This is bad. I want this. I don't want that. These judgments keep us trapped in our illusions and sleepiness, our old habits and patterns. Drop your opinionated mind and move inside. There you can relax into your deepest truth, where the difference between dreams and reality is already known. And that's the type of consciousness, that's the type of experience that we're going through in this week. So I hope you find this helpful. I like to give that context, that grounding of a signifying card of the week because we're working towards this. And the day-to-day -day gives us the minutia. And what a wonderful day to start out on Monday. We have a 10 of water. So what a wonderful way, I should say. We have a 10 of water, which is the 10 of cups. And it's very heart-centered coming into our intuition. So um, the world of possibilities and free flowing and harmony is really at our disposal today. If you just make an, um, instinctual moves and just allow yourself to be heart centered, great, great things are available to us this Monday. It's a very, very positive card. And in fact, there's not what I call the pejorative card, you know, in the week. Like, 
you know, we've started out on a Monday with the seven of, of water with projections, and that's like projecting a false notion onto somebody. That's not positive. We've started out the week with things like, I mean, I don't know, con control. I mean, who wants to be this, you know, hierophant figure that wants to control everything? So, I mean, these these types of cards are available, but this week has nothing of that sort. So if we can just stay, stay um, very intuitive, stay very kind and very gentle, this week's going to unfold for us in a very beautiful way. This judgment is going to be, others are going to get to know us, and it's, we're going to be judged accordingly, which will be beautiful. So... Um, just align with these energies today. I mean, this week it's 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 heading to be a good week. Um, so for today, Monday, October twentieth of twenty fourteen, the uh, the transits today, the moon is going to sextile Saturn at one thirty two p.m. And a sextile is like it's quasi compelling. It's not a square, so it's not a rough, but there's going to be something that's going to make you want to take action in your structure you know the moon and saturn i don't know how well they get along because it's very hard to structure your emotions but just you want to be a little bit more calculated and practical and just and be disciplined you know and that goes along with the virgo moon today so um just just realize that this is going to be sextiling saturn so just think of your emotions and being structured and and sort of um just down to earth with your emotions today um especially at 1 32 p.m and then um, Mercury is going to sextile Jupiter at 1.38 p.m. So um, I believe Mercury is in Libra and Jupiter is in the fire sign of Leo. So um, at 1.38 p.m., we're going to want to be expanding our vocal um, side of things. We're going to, and we could be lucky if we really communicate. There, people might be holding court a little more. The energy for this is just uh, making your speech big, but you you might really think about what you're saying in a practical like i said this is make sure if you're heart centered what you say and how you communicate will be well received if you're not you might be treading on big water because jupiter makes things a lot bigger if you have something angry to say you're going to make it really loud so just be aware of that that energy is available at 1 38 p.m and then at 8 30 p.m the sun the moon will square mars and after that the moon will be void of course for the rest of the night so um, the moon, when it squares Mars, you, you know, there's chances to get angry. So just look at your chart, um, anywhere in your chart to see where that energy might be falling into place for you. Um, other than that, just remember at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the moon is void, of course. So it's not a good time to start new tasks. But if you have tasks you've already started, it's a time you can do those. It's just like those things that come out of the blue that you want to start, you want to try to avoid. So if out of the blue your wife says, let's go to the mall or something weird like that, you know, you might want, if you can't avoid it, do. You know, there's just, it yields unexpected results. So if you go ahead with it, expect the unexpected. So um, other than that, that is the reading for today, Monday, October 20th of 2014. My name is Nicholas. I hope you find this video helpful and I can't wait to see you on Tuesday. Thanks.